um, it's kind of exciting just to challenge myself in a different event, and especially working on my speed for that 10K and 5K. Okay, so are you running the 5K also? Yes, <laughs> yeah, the 5K is probably the focus, but in what way am I ever going to get to do 15.5 since the 10K was early, so I think we're just going to have fun with it. Okay, so you'll run the 15 final, and then... The, uh, yeah, that's the plan. And then the 5K. Yep. Okay, it's a busy weekend for you. Right? Yeah, it's going to yeah. be a big weekend. <laughs> yeah. Right after the 10K championships, like, what was it getting back into practice and, like, shifting gears to focus on the 15 again? Yeah, um, that wasn't necessarily the plan, but after the 10K, I felt pretty good coming off of that, and so I really just kind of, like, voiced to do the 1500 at PTF, and we just felt like that would be a good speed focus for me and just kind of something different, and I haven't run a 1500 in two years since that, so... Racing that was just really fun and just brought my confidence up a lot. And then that's when we decided we were like, why not go for the 15.5? How do you apply your experience in 1500 to the 10,000? Yeah, so at like a world level, that kick is just very important. And just being able to like this year, I feel like I'll have a lot more confidence and I'm a lot more fit than I was last year to just hang with that top group more and be in that like top 10, top five area. And then um, to get into that mix, you really have to have fast 1500 speed. So we're just working on that finish right now. Were you concerned? I mean, doing two races after having an injury so yeah. recently, I'm sure a lot of thought went into that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Jerry was definitely all for it because it was just exciting that I was healthy and back, but we really had to like take a step back and make sure that we weren't getting greedy and just make sure that I can get through all these rounds and like get through the like 10K and hopefully get to the 5K um, at Worlds. But I'm coming off of it so much stronger than I was last year. I was just kind of limping through stuff last year, and this year just to be able to actually do a 15 and do another 15 and then a 5K is just huge for me. I'm really excited about it. When's the last time you ran a championship back in college, right? Yeah, yeah back in college, yeah. like uh, SEC. So yeah. I was pretty nervous just because you don't really know what to expect in a prelim. And I was just hoping our prelim was going to go fast and it didn't. So I tried to just stay as relaxed as possible and trust my kick. Did you did running four flat a couple weeks ago weigh in your decision whether or not to do it? Or Definitely. Already, I mean, I just I felt strong in that race, and we went out a little quick, and I still felt like um, pretty good in that four flat range. Felt like I could have a chance to dip under four, so we were just like, why not try it out? <laughs> so. and if you make all three, would you just do five and ten? Yeah. No triple, sadly. <laughs> that would be awesome. But, yeah, yeah. Not that I know of yet. <laughs> I'm sorry if you said this at the beginning of you, but did you were you thinking about 15-5 like the whole season once you knew that the 10K was going to be separate, or was that a, was that a new thing? Uh, that was definitely a new thing. Um, sorry. It was just mostly focusing on the 10, and then once the 10 was over, it was like, okay, this opens a few more possibilities because we have that in the like books already and now just focusing on the five and then ran 1500 at ptf and it was like why not try 15.5 so you're a fan of splitting up the 10k from these championships yes. I, <laughs> I enjoy the 5k and 1500 and i'm learning to love the 10k but yeah. we're getting there it was nice to have it as its own separate game. yes yes i think it was really nice to be able to really focus on training for the 10k because this 1500 I think is great prep work for that 10k whereas like doing a 10k 5k double is just pretty exhausting three weeks out from the 10k what's your goal like medal at Worlds? I mean I think like that's everyone's goal but um just to be up there and compete be in the top 10 top 5 and just to see what I can do because I feel like I'm in a much better place than I was last year so I'm excited to test that out and to be here of all places I feel like is always like good mojo for me <laughs> so yeah your teammate Elise scratched from this. Is she feeling okay? Like, what's her status? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, Elise is doing really well. I mean, obviously she had to scratch the 10K, but everything is kind of like, it was just a good decision for her. She really wanted to focus on the 5K anyway. So I think just like building that momentum and she like has been getting better every week at practice. So I think the 1500 was just kind of like more of a risk than it was a gain. So yeah. just wants to put all her eggs into the 5K. And she's just been dealing with like fatigue? Yeah, so I mean, that's just like a hard thing to deal with because you don't know how much rest your body needs. and. For her, like she just was able to be smart about it and be able to catch up with herself. And now she's able to compete at the 5K here, and she definitely has a chance for a spot on the team. So, thanks a lot. Thank you.